Thanks, Shotnu. Well, it goes without saying that we are wildly excited about the latest version of the Creative Suite. Not just because it has an overly abundant number of wicked cool capabilities, but because these new features are being complemented by its ability to solve true end-to-end creative workflow challenges. Now, we know that a creative workflow may start with great tools, but it's grown to be much more than that. Today's workflow spans from the creation and assembly of rich content to the delivery of that content to the viewing of that content on any device or surface you can imagine. And then, and here's the new twist, the test and optimization of your content as you begin the creative cycle all over again. Now, for the last phase, that's why we're so excited about integrating the new Omniture Content Measurement and Optimization Services. These will enable you to measure your content's performance, be that an advertisement, a book, an article, a web page, whatever you create, and on whatever device it's consumed. It's not just about creating great content anymore. It's about ensuring you can optimize that content for improved value. Now, the first phase of this integration will appear in Creative Suite 5 with much more to come, so stay tuned on that front. To give you an even better canvas to showcase your interactive content, Shantanu mentioned that we're also delivering a new version of the Flash Player along with CS5. The new Flash Player enables uncompromised viewing of expressive applications, content, video across a multitude of gadgets, including smartphones, netbooks, tablets, and other network-connected devices. For delivery, we have our Flash Media Server, which is the back-end solution for serving up and protecting Flash content, and Scene 7, which is our dynamic image and video hosted service. Those have been shipping for quite some time. They will be joined by a new offering called Business Catalyst, which is our all-in-one set of online services for small to medium-sized businesses. It provides a turnkey set of integrated solutions for e-commerce, web hosting, email marketing, and custom analytics. Now, as you can see, we filled out many key parts of the creative workflow, but we haven't forgotten that it all starts with the tools. Idea generation and creating and assembling content begin with a creative suite. And this version, CS5, is the most advanced set of tools for designing and developing the most compelling content for any surface. So why are we so amped up about CS5's ability to impress you? Well, we've always been at the cutting edge of innovation, and with CS5, we're not going to disappoint you. Dramatic time savings for everyday tasks. Blazing fast performance, including 64-bit for Mac, an entirely new Mercury video engine, and GPU optimization for accelerator cards like NVIDIA. And lastly, as one reviewer put it, eye-bleeding cool features that will make your work stand out in a crowd. Now, this is really great stuff, but hey, talk is cheap. It's time to wow you. So the next several minutes, we're going to take the wraps off of CS5. We're going to show you previews of our favorite suite features, some amazing new Photoshop CS5 capabilities, and brand new online services for creative professionals. For each of the segments, I've only given my team five minutes, so we're going to go through this pretty rapidly. But for those of you who want more detail, there's a great deal of information on our website. Since time is short, let's get to it. As a designer today, you're working hard not just to make nice designs, but to help help make your business successful. You need to design across multiple mediums and devices. Increasingly, you need to apply your skills to new media like the web, video, and interactive content. Well, with CS5, you're going to be able to express your ideas in exciting new ways. and to work faster without sacrificing precision or quality. You'll be able to experiment with interactive media without writing any code. And we're going to streamline the tedious but critical processes like client reviews. So now, here are some of the coolest aspects of the CS5 design suites. Hi, I'm Terry White, Worldwide Design Evangelist for Adobe Systems. I'm here to show you some of the exciting new things in Adobe Creative Suite 5 Design Premium. So the first thing I'd like to do is show you a little bit about Photoshop CS5. So I have this horse and I just need to move him over. So the first thing I need to do is make a selection. Now that I have this selection, I actually need to make that selection better for the mane and the tail on the horse. And so one of the things that we can do is we can grab Fine Edge Command. And this new refined edge has built-in edge detection with Smart Radius. 
So as I move this slider left and right, it will pick up more detail in the mane and the tail, but also keep the body intact. So we'll click OK on that, and that will make our selection. The next thing we'll do is we'll just duplicate that onto its own layer. Now that I've got that on its own layer, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that layer off. We'll go back to our background because now we need to get rid of the original horse and fill it in. So let's go to our select menu one more time, load that selection. We'll grab the second selection, which is a little bit more liberal, and we'll just hit delete. And you've never been able to do this before, but now with the new content aware fill, it will intelligently figure out what would have been there if the horse were never there using the surrounding areas. And now, like magic, the horse is gone, but the background is filled in. We'll hit Command-D to deselect. We'll grab our horse. We'll switch over to the Move tool, and we'll simply move the horse over. Amazing. The second thing I want to show you is Adobe Illustrator CS5 and beautiful strokes. I have the brand new variable width tool, and as you can see, I can just go along anywhere along my path and vary the width of the stroke. I can do it evenly on both sides or one side versus the other. I can even save those as profiles and apply them to other paths as I go forward. The next thing we'll do is we'll pop over to a different view, and in this view, we're going to go ahead and grab our arrow. And I've got this arrow selected. As you can see, the dashes themselves don't necessarily line up with the corners. However, with one tap of a button, I can save time and have them line up with the corners perfectly. And that's just some of the beauty of Illustrator CS5. So the third thing I'd like to talk to you about is the brand new CS Review. CS Review is one of the CS Live services, and it integrates with Creative Suite 5. I can tap the CS Review panel right from within my applications like Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign. Once I bring the panel up, I can actually initiate a review from within those applications and share it online. Once someone makes comments, those comments actually appear right within my documents. So CS Review is just one of the services a part of CS Live. So the fourth thing I'd like to show you is InDesign. I'm actually in my web browser looking at some interactive content that has motion, video, and sound. And what if I were to tell you that all of this Flash content was created inside of InDesign without having to write code? Let's pop over to InDesign and take a look. I'm going to select one of the objects here, go to my new animation panel, and I can choose a preset. These are the same presets from Flash Professional. So I'll bring up my preview panel, and that loads an instance of the Flash player that lets me actually see my animation right within my application and test it without having to leave InDesign. Now, we'll pop over to a different spread, and on this spread, I've actually got embedded Flash video. I can select that video, go to the new media panel, and I can actually scrub through that video. I can even choose it as a poster frame. And that is how interactivity inside of InDesign CS5 rocks. So the fifth thing I'd like to show you is an exciting, cool new way to create interactive content. It's actually our new product called Flash Catalyst. I'm going to launch Flash Catalyst here, and one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is that you can create this interactive content from your native layered Photoshop and Illustrator files without having to write code. That's the beauty of it. So rather than take my word for it, let's actually look at what one of our customers has done with Flash Catalyst. Hi, we're Marketos Moore, a brand design firm in San Francisco. We work on a variety of different projects, ranging from print to packaging to web. We're designers, not coders. We focused on three main components for this website. A simple navigation system, a really cool interactive map, and a sexy image gallery. And the great thing is we were able to get our designs from Illustrator into Flash Catalyst with very little difficulty. Flash Catalyst is really going to allow us the ability to pass along some cost-effective solutions to our clients without having to hire developers. And it was a fun project. It was great. Sadly, I'm out of time. However, I'd love to show you the great new painting features inside of Photoshop and Illustrator, as well as the new productivity features inside of InDesign. You can head over to adobe.com and check out all of the great new CS5 features for designers. Thanks for watching. As a video editor, or motion graphics designer, or visual effects artist, you need to deliver your content to a growing number of screens from broadcast television to the silver screen to mobile and web devices. And you'll do this in the context of tighter production schedules and, as always, shrinking budgets. With CS5, 